In this video, I'm going to talk about domain of a function and how to write equation of a line. So here, this is a pentagon, uh, and these are the coordinates. A has a coordinate of 0, 6, B has a coordinate of negative 5, 3, and so on. So we want to write the equation of all these lines and also talk about domain. So we're going to talk about domain. So let us talk about line AB. If you want to write the if you want to write the equation of line a b domain is the values of x in a given function now a function suppose let me talk about a function suppose if you write an equation like this y is equal to say 2x plus 3 now this is a function or this is a relation between x and y that means you what is this when is it a, when do you have a function to put it loosely it means for every value of x you have a value of y in other words i'm telling you you give me a value of x and then i'll give you a value of y so if you put uh, the value of x in this equation you'll get y so let's give me uh, let me give you an example that means suppose you say x is 1 okay so then i'll say y is 2 times 1 is 1, plus 3 is 5. Okay, if x is, say, minus 2. If x is, say, minus 2. Oops. When x is, if x is minus 2, I just put this value of minus 2 in the equation. So, it is 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, plus 3 is minus 1. So, in other words, for each value of x, there is a corresponding value of y, and that's called a function. Now, any function has a domain. And to put this in simple language, the domain of a function, df, the domain of a function, in simple language is all, or all possible values of x. All possible, this is not a mathematical way of explaining, but our understanding is more important than the mathematics. So df means the domain of a function is all possible values of x. So that is uh, how you can define or explain domain of a function. Okay, I'm not going to the range of a function and co-domain of a function. So domain is enough for the time being. So let's talk about line AB. Let us start by line AB. Now, to write the equation of line AB, we know AB, if you think about the x values of this line, you're taking the x values from minus 5 to 0. The coordinate of my B is, x coordinate of B is negative 5, and the x coordinate of A is 0. So, for the domain of this function, or this line uh, AB, so let me write that. So the domain of this function or relationship or formula is x is between 0 and negative 5. So this is how you write the domain. So the domain is you can take any value of x between minus 5 and 0, inclusive of minus 5 and 0. So this is your domain. So we are telling to draw equation uh, to draw the line AB, we need all the numbers between minus 5 and 0. Okay, that's the first part. Now we have to find what's the equation of the line. The equation of a line has this general form is mx plus c, where m is the y-intercept, sorry, m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. So let me write mAB. mAB means the gradient of AB. So the gradient is rise over run. Gradient of any line is rise over run. So let me draw. Oops. This is rise over run. So now to find the rise over run, I'll join this by a right angle triangle. So this is this is the run, and this is the rise. Okay, it's always good to draw in a graphical way. So this is the this is the right angle. So this is your run, and this is your rise. 
don't need to do it every time, but if you understand graphically, it's very simple. So what's your run? So let's talk about run. So you're running from three to three to six. You're running from three to six, so your run is three. And your run your run, your rise, your rise is six. It's not your run, your rise, you're rising from three to six, and you're running from minus five to zero. Can you see you're running from minus five to zero? So your run is five. So your gradient is three over five, which is six over ten, which is zero point six. Now the y intercept is is six. So directly from the equation, uh, directly we can say y is equal to your gradient is 0 0.6, x plus 6, just like that. Okay, so that is your equation of line AB. Okay, now let us write the equation of line. Uh, uh, let us write the equation of line AE. Oh, AE, what's the domain there? The domain of the function is all the possible values of x. So we have all the possible values of x from 0 to 5. So I'll say x is less than or equal to 5, is greater than or equal to 0. So the domain of this function is all the values of, all the values from 0 to 5, inclusive of 0 and 5. Okay. Now for the gradient, the same, same formula. So this is your run. Okay. This is your so let us say this is your run and this is your rise. This is your run. So you're running to the left. You're running to the left. Okay. So your run would be negative and your rise is positive. So if you're running to the left, it is negative and you're rising. So you're, I'll write M A E. M A E is rise over run. So I'll write the formula rise over run. Now even without uh, answering this, you should have an idea of what that number should be. Is it positive or negative? When I'm looking at a line, from the left to right, if it's going up, it has a positive gradient. And from left to right, from left this is your left, from left to right, if it's going down, it, this has got a negative gradient. So your rise is 3, and your run is negative 5. Okay, so your rise is, rise is 3, that's the same thing, over negative 5. Which is, of course, you can use a calculator, 3 divided by negative 5 would be negative 0 0.6. We'll confirm this on a calculator. So, and the y-intercept is 6 there. So equation of line A is y is equal to negative 0 0.5, 0 0.66 plus 6. Okay, so that's for line AE. Now let us talk about BC. Okay, so BC from left to right, is it going up or down? From This is your left and this is your right. From left to right, it's going down, so this has a negative gradient. So let me show the working here. So I'll, I'm talking about BC. You're talking about BC. So the domain, what's the domain of the function here? So for domain, you have to look at your x values. You have to take all the x values between negative 3, negative 5, and negative 3. So your domain is x between negative 3 and greater than negative 5. So that's your domain. Your gradient, your M, I'll write BC. MBC is rise over run. Okay, so let me draw a right angle triangle. It's always good to draw and see. You don't have to remember any formula yet. So this is your rise. So rise, you're going down. So this is your rise, and your run is positive. This is your run, which is to the right, so it is positive. So here, your run was positive, and your rise was also positive. 
for a b here your for a e your rise was rise suppose if you're going from e to a your right your run was negative and your rise is positive here your rise is negative you're going down and then you're going to the right so so your rise is from three you're looking at a y coordinate you're rising from three to negative five negative two so your rise is negative five i hope you, it's, that's clear and your run is from negative five to negative three so that's two which is negative 2.5 negative 2.5 is your gradient so i'll write the equation is y is equal to minus 2.5 x plus c now to find c you have to put any of this this point or this point in the equation so i'll put minus 5 3 in the equation so x is minus 5 and y is 3 so 3 is equal to negative 2.5 times times what times uh, your x is negative 5 plus c so 3 is equal to negative times negative is positive so this is 7 no 12.5 2.5 times 5 is 12.5 so this is 12.5 plus c now even without we can have an understanding your y-intercept has to be negative if it goes up the y-intercept has to be negative so taking away 12.5 from both sides so minus 12.5 take away 12.5 from both sides so your y-intercept would be so this and this gets cancelled so 3 minus so let me get my calculator so that i don't do the mistake so 3 menu run so 3 minus 12.5 which is minus 9.5 so your y intercept is minus 9.5 so the equation is y is equal to minus 2.5 x minus 9.5 it does make sense but that line has a negative gradient and the negative y intercept so looking at this without even calculation i can see your gradient has to be positive so it is symmetrical so i making guess the y the gradient has to be plus 2.5 so let us finally not finally now you're finding the equation of ed am i right the equation of ed so your uh, domain of the function is from 3 to 5 so your domain of the function is between 3 to 5 so it's less than 3 less than equal to 5 that's your domain and your gradient of ed okay so let us do directly so what's your rise so you're rising from negative 2 to 3 so your rise is 5 okay and your run is 2 so as i said that is 2.5 okay and the y intercept i think should be 9 point minus 9.5 so y is equal to 2.5 x plus c okay so i can put 5 comma 3 in this in place of x i'm going to put 5 and in place of y i'm going to put 3 so 3 is equal to 2.5 x x is 5 plus 3 so this is 3 is equal to 12.5 plus c so your c is same minus 9.5 so it does make sense these two lines will be intersecting at minus 9.5 so the equation of that line is y is equal to 2.5 x minus 9.5 okay and finally the last is a straight line this line all the points on this line so let me write this is this was this is a b c so this point is c 
this point is C. So even the domain is from minus minus 3 to 3. So let me write CD finally. For CD, the domain of the function is from minus 3 to plus 3. So minus 3 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 3. And the equation of this line is simple because all the points on this line has the coordinate of minus 2. The gradient is 0 because there is no rise, there is only run. So rise 0, your rise is 0, your run is from minus 3 to 3, which is 6. So 0 over 6 is 0. So this has only the y-intercept, if you think in a different way. The y-intercept is negative 2. So the equation of this line is y is equal to minus 2 or negative 2. So the equation of ED is y is equal to minus 2.